And in studio with me, I have Cohen Davids, director, producer, and by the looks of things, fashionista of the piece <laughs> Euphoria. <laughs> Cohen, <laughs> how are you doing? Good and you. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I meet you. You're a man of style. I see your Instagram you. and all the things. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. You knew I'd try. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Cohen, what a what a really inspirational piece. Um, at, at the looks of things, it, meant, it must mean it meant quite a lot to you. Um, what did it actually mean to you for uh, shooting this piece? Um, well, I just wanted to create something simple because um, I was thinking back what I used to do as a kid was I would just draw these female figures and then I would draw their foreground and background. So I wanted to just, and then obviously that would be based off my imagination. And I wanted to show that imagination because I don't think a picture can tell you exactly what it is that you see. Yeah. So I wanted to do a piece where I could kind of just validate that kid yeah. inside of me. Um, I was like, okay, I see you. Um, we're still doing the same. Sh can I yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> <laughs> still doing the same thing. Um, but I just wanted to go back and get things that I want to validate, you know, like yeah. moments in my life. So I thought that was like one of the moments that I was thinking, you know, that's probably connected to why I'm doing what I'm doing today. Yeah, all right. Yeah. And, and, and the selection of your locations, that was purposefully like, obviously lots of beach settings. I mean, the one with the candles, that was very mystical, by the way. Uh, what was the idea behind that? Um, well, actually, we failed and we failed and we failed uh, probably like three times. Um, we originally it was set for exterior um, day yeah and then we went to all of these various locations um, to um, Atlantis dunes mm -hmm. and like a lot of locations and I got the models everything the crew and then it was just something wasn't working mm. and it was during the day and I was like I can't I don't understand but it's not working for yeah. some it's not working and we kept on failing failing and I felt like such a failure and then just one day I decided, you know what, I'm going to change everything tonight. Tonight, yeah. So I can have more control over what it is that I actually want to do. Yes. And yeah, it just kind of changed from that point on. We first shot at um, Weinberg Park. Mm -hmm. And then um, I think it was um, Milneton Beach. Yeah, but first, it were, when we were shooting during the day, it was like yeah. a huge failure. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we changed it to night and then things just came to life. Yeah. And it was, I think it was always supposed to be that way, yeah. the way it's now. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it speaks to the piece. I mean, where, yes, where things definitely. were in the dark, and now and now it comes to light with all definitely. the candles. And I couldn't yeah. see that, and then yeah. I was like, gosh, I felt like such a failure. And <laughs> luckily, it came out like that. I was like, okay, cool. Not, don't feel like such a failure anymore. <laughs> so I, I did some digging, and 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 the consensus and and the word of of the day was committed. Mm. Um, sort of the, the teams that you work with, they they say they'll they ride and die for you. And then also, <laughs> and then also, you would literally do anything to get that money shot. This is what I got from from your people. Is this yes. is this a true reflection of Cohen Davids? Yeah, because I had like three different models right for the first three locations because there was like three um, different outfits, and then it just didn't work. And I was like, why is it not working? Why is it not working? Like, what the hell? And then I was like, okay. And I phoned my cousin, and I was like, I think you're supposed to be the model. Because we did this when I was in high school, we used to shoot things, music video, little things, like, you know, amateur things. You know, when you start out, when your mom buys you a camera, you yes. just go shoot, like, yes. anything. And then I called my cousin, because she was a dancer, and then um, I was like, I think you need to be this model. Like, it needs to be you, because for some reason, something is just not working. Yes. And I replaced all of the other three models, and then I just used her, and I was like, okay, this okay. is just going here on a gut feeling. Yeah. And then, yeah, I'm glad I chose her, because I think, okay. like, um, there was like this connection and I kind of knew she would be able to deliver exactly yeah. what I wanted her to deliver. Yes. Yeah, with only saying one word. I can just give me Beyonce. Yeah. Give yeah. me Beyonce. <laughs> you know, like something like that. And of course, yeah. Nicole can pull off the Beyonce. She can. Yes, she can, she can she do a really can. good Beyonce version of it. So um, you produce, uh, you direct, sometimes you shoot, you edit, do a little bit of everything. Where does this passion come from? Um, they told me not to be a grasshopper. And then I, obviously, if someone tells you not to be something, then, of then course, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just happened, like, oh shit, I'm a grasshopper. <laughs> yeah, so that, I, I don't know, like, I just wanted to, like, dabble, because obviously when you're beginning, when you start out in the industry, you, um, you just want to get your, um, your foot in the door. You know? Yeah. I will mop the floor, I'll do anything, <laughs> just get me in there. And I kind of started out like that, and then, yeah, um, I met Maynard, um, he gave me the opportunity to edit, 
in the feature form. I just never thought I was going to get that opportunity because mm. Avda actually told me I wasn't good enough to be an editor. <laughs> well, now look at and this now. And I was like, okay, <laughs> four feature forms later. <laughs> and, but um, yeah, and but I did I dabbled like in stunts as well, but on okay, the budget so you, side. You're yeah. literally in. You're literally in there. Yeah. 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 And um, I've noticed that you're going to put up like a Scorsese, Quentin Tarantino, Ryan Kruger style to you. Isn't that Ryan? There's Ryan Kruger <laughs> style to you. <laughs> well, the reason why I'm saying so, because I, I find your work that um, it seems like you've got a core team that you always like to work with. Yeah. Uh, whether it be the guys from behind the scenes and in front yes, of, the, uh, definitely. Of, of, of Cam. I think um, is that the way that you do it? I think, I think you kind of need to um, find the people, like-minded people. Yeah. That um, and especially like underdogs, they mm -hmm. always feel like they they need to say something, you know. Yeah. And I felt yeah. like that's what we all had in common is we all felt like we were the underdogs and we had something that we wanted to say. And um, I I think that resonated with all of us, and that's why we're such a tight knit family mm -hmm. almost. Like I wouldn't do anything um, without them. If I was going to do a feature film, if I was going to do a, a music video, whatever it is, I would that there's a certain amount of people in, in the crew that I always use that need to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just a message, I think, um, as, as a CEO right now, I think that you, know, you should keep on giving the way you are because people have only good things to say about you. It's only love, 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 all this. Um, but I want to know what's next for the young man. Oh, my God. Mauritius. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's really doing this, obviously, we all know it's really difficult doing this, like funding, especially producing stuff. Like in the beginning, you have to fund your own dream, you know. Um, euphoria, out of my own pocket, I had to yeah. pay like 100,000 only sure. to do that. Sure. And that was all out of my own pocket, sure, you know. Sure. Yeah. Not a lot of people would do that, mm. you know. And for me, being a person of color as well, mm. taking that money, I could have gone to, you know, drink, you know. Yeah, I, yeah. Anyway, do something with that money yeah. or travel or do something, you know what yeah. I mean? But um, I chose to use that money for this. Um, so I think I kind of, you have to invest in yourself. Yeah. You know, and I think that's what I did, but it's really difficult. Sure. <laughs> no, no, for sure. It's really, yeah. But, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I guess it's like worth it um, because there is a lot of good things happening at yeah. the moment because I'm currently busy with three things, but I can't speak about it. Yeah, but yeah. that's all good. We'll, we'll, we'll keep on watching. <laughs> keep on watching. Thank and you. if you had to uh, give your 16-year-old self a peace of mind, knowing what you know now, what would you tell little Cohen? Relax more. Take it easy. Don't be so yeah. <laughs> panicked all the time. Yeah. Like, relax. Smoke some weed. I'm kidding. Yeah. Like, just relax. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Relax. That's the <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, other than that, where can we stalk you? Um, Instagram, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I don't post a lot. Okay. Uh, because I'm just like busy. About, uh, yeah, kind of. Like, I don't, I don't want to like always like bombard people with yeah, things. No, for sure. Only when it's like important. And like, okay, cool. We post go. this. Yeah. 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 Good luck, and I see you going to be breaking a lot of boundaries and records and anything else that there is to break and just raking in the cash and obviously coming to give my check. Hoping for raking in the cash job. at some point. <laughs> thank you. But thank you very much for Thank for you for having me. All right. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, guys.